Okay, so we're going to show you how to connect uh, LED strips of various kinds from RGB to just single color. Um, the power sources that you will, uh, you'll be using uh, could be anywhere from a uh, battery, car battery, uh, electrical wiring, um, a uh, large professional power supply, or any compact power supply that's 12 volts. Uh, you may, in your kit, get either one of these um, or similar, and they all will do the same purpose. Uh, for the uh, LED strips, uh, we'll first show you the IR. IR stands for infrared. It's a point and shoot. You must point it at the sensor on here, otherwise you won't, you won't get a signal. Um, your IR sensor usually will have an input wire, which plugs right in. And the uh, other end is going to connect to the strip. So there'll be no cutting with the IR. Uh, you basically wire this to your power supply. Now here we have a... Uh, power supply with two outputs, you would cut this wire and wire it to this. On this uh, particular power supply, you wouldn't need to do any uh, cutting, it just simply just plugs right in. You may get either one of these power supplies depending on the kit you purchase. Uh, we're going to show you on our uh, large power supply here with the uh, output wire, V+. And basically what you do is connect, connect the power connections, Make sure they're not reverse polarity, plus, plus, uh, plus is usually oh, uh, either uh, white or red, black is uh, ground. And this same procedure for the uh, battery here. And then your LED strip usually will have a connector of sort on here. Um, a pin might be included in your kit, which you would insert into this. This one has a built-in already. Simply connects. If the light does not turn on, you can always flip the connector around, as we just did. Um, your uh, remote control may have a, a battery that may, mean, may need to be installed. Otherwise, uh, you can change the battery, check the battery if, uh, if your remote is not functioning correctly. So this is the IR. Now, you may have another type of uh, RGB controller. Uh, it may come in different forms. It may look like this or similar. And these are a little bit more advanced. Uh, they can do a little more things, and uh, it's called RF, radio frequency, meaning you do not need to use uh, uh, point and shoot. You can be anywhere in the room and, and use a remote of this type to um, basically uh, control your strips. On this particular uh, RF controller, you will, do need, you will need to do some wiring. So you will need a screwdriver, and you may need some uh, wiring uh, kind of cutters. So in this case, uh, you will see that there's a V plus and V minus. This is the input voltage, 12 volts. This will be from your power supply or battery in your car if you're installing this in a car. Remember, in your car, you will not need a power supply. These are only for home use if you want to connect it to your wall outlet. The output on all RF or most RGB controllers will be very similar. You have B, G, R, V plus. Now what does this mean? B is obviously for blue color, G is for green color, R is for the red color. V plus is the common, that's what's also known as. And it basically supplies common uh, voltage and the controller controls these other three colors, turning them on and off to give you the effect. Basically you just grab a power supply and your controller and your strip and just be prepared. To... Okay, so we're going to show you how to connect the uh, RF LED controller to your power supply, or it could be your battery. In this case, we're inside, so we'll be using this uh, LED driver or power supply, you want to call it. Now, you want to make sure you get the plus and uh, minus correctly. Uh, usually, they'll be labeled on here. So the plus is this wire right here. It simply goes in, and you will need a screwdriver. Okay, and uh, we have power to the unit now. And uh, next step is going to be connecting your LED strip. Now your LED strips may have a marking on them if you look carefully. It will show you which one is the common, which is the 12, 12V, the G, R, and B. Um, if, if you don't want to look at that, you can always test and figure out which one is the uh, uh, common and which one is the rest of the colors. It's a very simple procedure. So 
your 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 strip may look like this. It may not have these wires exactly on there. It may have a connector like like this. But inside here, you're gonna have four wires either way. So you basically cut, splice, and you'll have four wires which will be making a connection. Um, so in this case, let's assume we have this here, four wires. And if you don't if you don't want to go by the guy that's on here, you basically grab your um, you can connect, basically can do a very easy test. Let's assume we can even grab a car battery to make it even more simple. So we have four wires. Grab one, stick it on here. Well, it looks like I got it correctly on this one. Basically what this is telling me is, well, the blue lit up. Now we still don't know which one is actually the common, right? So if we test another wire, oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. So clearly this one right here on the right, which I'm holding, is the common. Because if I touch these ones here, you can see that they do light up. So let's try that again. So let's assume you just you got this strip. We basically start off with the end, the end wires. You do not touch the middle ones. You stick them on here. You got light. Test all the wires. Nope. Nope. So basically it tells us that the common is the one on the right. Very simple. So if you if you know the common, then you can simply insert it into the uh, the hole in the strip, the RGB controller, and um, now you can you can mix it up if you want your different colors to come out at different times. Okay, here times. we have made our connection to our RF RGB controller. Uh, we basically matched up the colors of the wires and uh, common V plus to our common on our strip. Uh, again, like we said, you can look on the strip and it'll tell you uh, which one is common on here, otherwise you can do that test. Now, uh, you may have a question, can you connect multiple strips to the same RGB controller? And the answer is yes. How many? Um, you can connect probably anywhere from three to five of them without any problems. Any more you may get dimming. Basically what will happen is uh, the lights will be more dim because there's not enough power. Um, Next thing you might ask is how long can you strip? Uh, can, how long can you extend these LED strips? And the answer usually is uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 meters. Uh, any more, uh, basically, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to get dimming happening again on the end, uh, which you may may not like. Uh, so uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, in terms of cutting these strips, uh, they're usually marked. Uh, you will see a uh, joint of sort like this. Uh, or it may have a solder mark on them and basically the, at these joints you can cut and if you cut and you want to uh, connect that strip to uh, a different power source or connect it to the RGB strip uh, controller directly uh, you basically will need soldering here we have our RGB RFT uh, RF controller that has been connected to a regular power supply. It's a 12 volt power supply. If you're installing this in a vehicle, you will not need this power supply. You'll be connected directly to the battery or electrical system of your vehicle. Um, the connection is very simple power, input, plus or minus. Red is positive, black is ground. And the connection to the LED strip, we have four wires. They're labeled on here. Red, green, blue, and common. Common is a positive. Common, uh, 12 volts that's given to the LED strip. LED strips are usually marked on them which wire is what. Otherwise, you can do a very basic test to determine which wire will go to the common. You can determine the common very easily. But like I said, they're usually written on the LED strip. If you look carefully, they're marked on there, and then you can go and match that up with the wire. This RF controller comes with a touch sensitive remote control. You can change the colors assuming you're on the correct pattern. Off button, on button, and this also controls the pattern button. So different patterns such as flash patterns or gradients. Um, if you're not in a correct uh, setting, the, the color gradient function will not work. Um, further you have brightness control, down for dimmer, Plus for brighter, you do have to hold the button down. And this uh, function here 
is for the uh, pattern uh, speed. If a particular pattern has a speed setting, this will make it go faster or slower. And again, you do have to hold down the buttons. Okay, so let's assume your strip is not an RGB controller. If your strip is a single color and you want to use an RF controller, now you don't need to. On a single color strip, is it's basically it's going to come on uh, if you if you hook it up to 12 volts. You won't need an RF controller or IR controller or any kind of controller uh, because these things don't uh, don't change color. But and back back to our case here with the RGB controller. Okay, here we have made our connection to our RF RGB controller. Uh, we basically matched up the colors of the wires and uh, common V plus to our common on our strip. Um, again, like we said, you can look on the strip and it'll tell you uh, which one is common on here, otherwise you can do that test. Now, uh, you may have a question, can you connect multiple strips to the same RGB controller? And the answer is yes. How many? Um, you can connect probably anywhere from three to five of them without any problems any more you may get dimming basically what happen is uh, the lights will be more dim because there's not enough power um, next thing you might ask is how long can you strip uh, can, how long can you extend these LED strips and the answer usually is uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 meters uh, any more uh, basically what's going to happen is uh, you're going to get dimming happening again on the end uh, which you may, may not like uh, so uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, in terms of cutting these strips, uh, they're usually marked. Uh, you will see a uh, joint of sort like this, uh, or it may have a solder mark on them. And basically, the, at these joints, you can cut. And if you cut and you want to uh, connect that strip to uh, a different power source or connect it to the RGB uh, controller directly, uh, you basically will need soldering.